Hi guys, so I am back with part two of the Hello Kitty slash Sanrio collection. And as you can see, I am in a whole new outfit, whole new hair and everything. I was actually going to film the part two right after part one, but I got a text from my friend saying a couple hours ago, she was at this mall and she found cinnamon roll and she said that they had a couple left. So I tried calling the store, they didn't pick up. I just went ahead and head over there. It was like around 45 minutes to an hour away. And when I went over there, they told me it was sold out. So I was disappointed. I came home and I was just too sad to film anything. But luckily the next day I called another store I went to the store and they had one left so I was able to pick it up um and we're gonna go ahead and just film this video so let's go ahead and get started again I'm not doing them in any particular order and I'm gonna try to go pretty fast because there is actually a lot and I don't really want to do a part three because I feel like it's gonna get too lengthy but let's go ahead and get started so continuing um on to the uh, a continuation from the first video this is the part two and the first item in part two is going to be the hello kitty 40th collection as you can see right here she's actually super cute she is one of my five favorite from the collection i like i said i don't really like to have a favorite only because i feel like it's unfair but i love i guess the pattern on her um, and I just love the little sprinkle all over her. And then, of course, like they have sprinkle on the bow, sprinkle on the foot. And then, of course, um, on the left side, it says 40th anniversary. She is super duper cute. I still have the tags on for her. So this is the tags that came with her. So the Hello Kitty Sanrio tag and, of course, the Build-A-Bear tag. Um, she is actually one of the newer version of the Hello Kitty. So she does have the Build-A-Bear logo paw print right here. And then this is the back of the tag. So relatively part of the newer um, addition to Build-A-Bear's release. And then the next one is going to be, this is the 35th anniversary. So this is how, and she is actually part of the, my one of my, like I said, five favorites as well. I just, there's just something about multicolored on Hello Kitty that just makes me so happy, but this is how she looks like. So she has kind of like a multicolored bows and they're all over her foot. And she comes with a little necklace. So when I first got this necklace, the little resin part of it, of the pendant, it was white and clear. I don't know why over time it has yellowed up. I am not even sure myself because I don't, thing is, I don't even play with them. Like I leave them on the shelf for decor or for my collection. And so I don't know why, I guess it's just the bad part of you know the way that the material is made i'm not too sure but the back of it you can see it's like all clear and white and then the front is just like yellowing like i have i don't know maybe like can you guys can if one of you are familiar with um resin necklaces yellowing can you guys tell me like what i can do to fix this because i don't know this is looking so bad to me but uh, anyways, so yeah, so she has the multicolor hearts on, um, multicolor bows on her heart, and then of course the detachable bows, uh, the velcro bow, and she's super duper cute. She's actually a little slight bit smaller than um, the new release, so this one is from the old release, and here's her tag for it. And let me show you guys the Hello Kitty tag. My finger's just not working. And there's like a little bit of threading coming out of her. I don't know why, but she's just falling apart, guys. And there's nothing I can do about it. I actually bought her um, new and I just like lost her tag during the move here. So I didn't buy her second hand or anything, but she's just falling apart. So I don't know. It just makes me sad. But anyways, this is how she looks like. And of course, the old Build-A-Bear Touch tag. And then moving on, we have... This is the, I'm not sure. I think this is the first release ever, if I'm if I'm correct, guys. So I think this is the first Hello Kitty that they release uh, with Build-A-Bear. And let me take off her robe just so I can show you how she looks like. Um, she's actually one of 
the few that I have clothes on. I don't really have clothes for any of them. I've been trying to, but like the resale price for the clothes is like around $30 for a piece. And I just, I cannot afford that. Like it's just too much for me. So I am on the hunt. Um, if I do see something like uh, under 20, then that's when I pick it up. But over 30, I can't guys, I, I can't do it. But this is how she looks like. Super duper cute. And of course her bow is velcroed and detachable as well. She does not have her tag on all of my tag. Most of my bear's tag during the move came off because um, I, I had them in the resealable bag. So it is kind of disappointing. But anyways, this is the old tush tag. And then this is the robe that I bought for her. Um, I don't think I bought it together. I think I just kind of saw it at the store uh, when I went. I don't remember when I bought this, but I just saw it, thought it was super cute and it matched her very well so that's why i put it on her and this is how the rope looks like of course it's from build a bear um and so let me go ahead and put that back on her i think she just looks super cute with the robe because she's she just looks so plain without and i feel like all the other ones kind of have like details to them like you know one of them the 40th one had the sprinkle and then the 35th anniversary has the bows and then you know like the halloween one it's like orange so i just felt like she looked a little bit empty so that's why i put the rope on her and then moving on we have and this one i don't know when this was released but it is um i believe it was released after her so they do look different guys so she is a little bit shorter than the um i believe this is might be the second or the third release and then as you can see from the bow, it is also Velcro and detachable. You can see it's kind of like a stretchy legging material and it has like sequin all over. Super duper cute. Like it's like a uh, elastic, like kind of like a leotard type of material. And so it's super duper cute. And then she's plain as well. I do want like I'm desperately looking for the other color of the PJ or the robe. There's like a blue color one that I want to get to put on her. But like I said, they're selling it for an arm and a leg. So can't afford that right now. But anyways, this is how she looks like with her tag. And of course, she's from the old release. So there's the touch tag. And then these two are actually the new, uh, the most recent release. So this one is this year. And I believe this one's 20, I want to say 21. Um, so let me go ahead and show and it does come with the dress. It's kind of like a set thing So this was an online exclusive um, And you have to buy her with the dress because it's it comes with it It's like it's basically like the bundle that they have and her bow is detachable And then of course like I didn't take it off of the Thing because I didn't want to lose it and then here is her tag and look at that guys that is so stinking cute like isn't that so cute and then here's the back of it and then her dress in the front has kind of like clear sequins and then you see like little hello kitty and then she's like holding a heart winking and this is hello kitty like a um a white bow just straight across a white bow belt and then this is the back so the back does not have sequin and that's how it looks like it's kind of like a silky material and then here is the tag for the dress and the dress by itself is $13.50, but again, you have to buy her as a whole package. And I'm so glad that I did buy the dress with her because, guys, there is no way I'm about to pay $30 two years from now trying to scramble my way into getting that dress. So I, I wish I would have bought all of their dresses earlier, but at that time, I was so young and then I couldn't afford it. But now going back, looking back, if I could go back in time, I would definitely, definitely get the, their outfits with them and then this one is um i believe this year right yes this is the 25th build a bear 25th anniversary not hello kitty but build a bear's 25th anniversary and then they just did like a re-release and she is actually super duper cute like you can see the little um metallic iridescent on her nose and then she has little glitter i hate the freaking lighting in this room today guys but you can see the iridescent glitter all over her so it's all over her head her body and then of course her whiskers and her eyes are glitter um or like metallic threading with kind of like glitter sewn onto that and it's super duper cute 
her bow is not detachable at all so it's sewn on so you cannot take that off i kind of do like it and i don't at the same time i don't really know i i have no complaints though so let's go ahead and get that out of the way i have no complaints but it's just a little odd because they've all been detachable except for this one so i'm kind of just like eh, i have mixed feelings about it but there is no complaint i do like her nonetheless and i feel like it is a good investment so i'm not gonna complain um but anyways here is the 25th year anniversary and then here is the hello kitty tag pretty basic just you know her uh, her hello kitty's face on that and then the dress has a glitter sequin bow across and then it has a bunch of hello kitty heads all over with multicolored bows and then it has like a little tool on top of the dress and then this is the back and then a little tool on the side as well and then here is the back of the dress tag as well so this dress is 15 dollars and you can get this separately so you can get the dress by itself and then you can get the hello kitty by itself by herself um so it's completely up to you nothing on the foot but of course the signature um paw print and then it does say 25th anniversary on here and then of course you see the glitter and then here is the back and moving on we have hello kitty's friends and i'm so excited so i'm actually gonna go ahead and just show her first because i am so excited to show you guys her look at her she is so cute oh my goodness look at the blue eyes like the pastel blue eyes and then of course the little pink cheeks and these big little fluffy ears she is so stinking cute i'm, I'm so glad i was finally able to get her because I think she's going for like 60 to 90 on eBay right now. Guys, I don't... Uh, it makes me mad even thinking about it. Like, why are you guys selling it for so much? But anyways, this is her tag. Pretty basic, but super cute. And then, this is just how she looks like. Basically the same size as Hello Kitty, of course. Here, I'll show you side by side. And then, this is the back. And of course, of course, they cannot forget the detailing. Let me zoom in so you can see. The little i don't even know if it would focus there it is so i don't know if you can tell but her tail is in the shape of a cinnamon roll like that is so stinking cute and then of course the signature cinnamon roll on the left foot and then the build a bear logo and she is just so freaking cute like i absolutely love her love her like she's so soft like she's literally like fluffy kind of material instead of like the i don't know how to describe it but like this like can you guys tell the difference between the fur like this one's kind of like short fur and then this one's like the fluffy fur like can you guys see that like you can tell that it's like fluffy like blanket material and that is super duper cute so moving on nonetheless nonetheless cute we have mr choco cat and he is adorable like i absolutely love him as well like i honestly love everything from the hello kitty collection so i have no complaints like again no favorites but there are some that i just like a tiny bit more than other but i'm not picking a favorite um but anyways here's choco cat he's super super cute and of course he has his tag on as well and then back in the day they used to do like a little i guess introduction to the character and then, of course, the whole collection right there. And then here's the back of it. It says Sanrio. And then here is the front. And I don't know who Sue is, guys. Like, I do not remember naming him Sue. Or I don't even know if maybe I picked up, maybe they bagged me the wrong Choco Cat. But I do not know who Sue is. And Sue is not my name. So, I, I, I don't know. I don't know about this. And I don't want to try to, like, scratch this off and ruin the tag. So, we're just going to leave that there and pretend... It does not exist. And back in the day, he was $22, guys. Can you believe that? Like, $22 was actually one of the higher price mark for Build-A-Bear, like, back in the day. Now, it's like, gosh, like, can go up to, like, I know the Swarovski one is, like, $100. So, it's crazy. It's crazy. Inflation is crazy. But this is how he looks like with his little blue scarf and it is detachable so you can take it off but um there is a little kind of tag string that's stuck to it so you would have to cut that off before you can take this off but i'm not going to take it off because i lose things easily and then um 
so I, I don't want to risk that but this is how he looks like he kind of has like a corduroy pattern on his eye and then like a brown color nose super cute and then kind of a yellow um i don't know if the camera will pick up but a light yellow uh tone on his ears and this is just how he looks like with his little tail super cute of course the old build -A tag and the uh sanrio tag and then the old tush tag right here so super super adorable and then next we have Karopi, and I'm going to try to go fast, guys, because we're already 15 minutes. Um, but this is Karopi, super duper cute. Uh, I actually had to buy him. I could not get him in the store in time, so I actually had to buy him off of eBay. And the seller that I bought him from said that he just missed it. Uh, I actually bought him and My Melody together. So she was selling both of them together. She said that they were in good condition. The only thing that was missing was the tag. Like she just took them off, but she had them on the shelf the whole time. So, I mean, I got them for a pretty good deal a couple years back. So I'm not complaining, but this is how he looks like. Super duper cute. Just, just how he is, you know, adorable with his eyes. And then of course the pink cheeks. And then here is the back tag and the Sanrio tag. And then, of course, the tush tag right here. And, yeah, he's just super duper cute. And then next, my Melody. Oh, I love her. Like, I absolutely love her. She's so cute. Her bow is actually not detachable, guys. So, a little bit of uh, mixed feelings about that again. But she is super duper cute. And then she has her little kind of collar for her head. Head, you know, the little hoodie or whatever you want to call that. And then here's the back of her. And of course, the tag and the tush tag. She is so stinking adorable. Again, she is missing the tag because I bought it from the same seller. Um, and then lastly, this is not really a Hello Kitty, I guess, character. But she is from the same creator that created Hello Kitty. So it is, I don't, I don't even know if some of you guys know, but this is Rebecca Bonbon. Bon. She's a Boston Terrier. Um, I have seen a couple of episodes uh, of Rebecca Bonbon, bon, but I maybe not a lot of people know about her. But if you do, this is how she looks like. And she is part of the Sanrio kind of franchise, but I don't, I don't know if I've never, I don't know if she actually makes an appearance or is part of Hello Kitty, but I know she is part of Sanrio and she has the same creator as Hello Kitty. So I just wanted to go ahead and show her, uh, show you guys her just so you can see. And then of course she has her little signature bow on her head right there. And this one does not come off. Super duper cute. Boston Terrier guys, not a Frenchie. Boston Terrier. And then this is how she looks like. And she has her little um, red collar on. It does not come off. And of course the back tag. Now it does not have the Sanrio tag. Uh, but it does have the Build-A-Bear tush tag and the little side tag right here. And then this is just how she looks like. So yeah, that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. I know um, it's been taking a while for me to upload. I've been so busy with work and school and just life. But um, yeah, there is more to come. I know that Build-A-Bear is going to be releasing more Hello Kitty slash Sanrio products so I'm so excited as soon as they release them I'm not gonna even wait for it to go on sale I'm just gonna pick them up and do a review for you guys so watch out for that and yeah anyways I hope you guys have a good night and I'll see you guys next time bye